How's it going? Welcome back to another Friday episode of HGTV Handmade with me, Anne. For today's inspiration and project, we are going to be making some pillowcases. Now, a while back, I made a laptop cover and I painted on some feathers. I really, really loved how they turned out. So for today's video, I'm going to apply that onto my pillow covers. Now, this is a great way to decorate your home and also add some color to your space. For materials, we will be using this white pillowcase here. Now, if you want to learn how to make a basic pillowcase, I do have a tutorial for that, which I will link at the bottom of this video. Next, you will need some fabric paint. I suggest to use fabric paint because it's more flexible on fabric and it doesn't crack. So I highly recommend fabric paint, although there are some craft paint out there that um, you can apply onto fabric. Lastly, I will be using some paint brushes for my feathers. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so to get started, I usually like to freehand my feathers and just paint them on. But for those of you guys who have a difficult time drawing or if you're nervous on just painting right onto the pillowcase, then I suggest for you to make a template first. Or you can also use a scrap piece of paper, practice on that before applying your feathers onto your pillowcase. So you can also use a pencil to draw on or give you some, you know, painting guidelines. Take your pencil and just draw a line for the feather. Next, you can take your brush and dip that into a dark color first. You just draw the line of the feather. And this will give me a, a good idea on, you know, how flowy the feather will look. When you're painting on the feathery part, you know, you want to go in a wisp-like stroke. When you're starting in the center, you're applying more pressure and as you brush out then that's when you kind of like lift up your brush and that's how you can get that wisp like motion. I suggest for you to try out your strokes on a separate paper so that way you can get familiar with using your brush and how the color would look. All right so I am done painting on the base color and now I'm going to add on a second color to add more dimension and I like it to look colorful. So again, just go in with like motion, just adding like a nice gradient effect to the outside. I usually like to add on a third color uh, just because it's a nice highlight. And there's no right or wrong way in doing this. You can just have fun, be creative, and just, you know, give it your own little artistic flair. I think I'm actually going to add on a fourth color just because I can. So now I'm on to painting the second feather and I'm adding pink as my base color. I don't like them to look all the same, so I drew them differently. Now for the last feather, I'm going to make this one purple, one of my favorite colors. Add in a little pink, and then I'm going to add some yellow to highlight this. Now be careful not to blend the yellow with the purple because that would turn out to be a yucky brown. So that is it guys. Just let this set for, I would say about two to three hours before you cover your pillow with this. I really, really love how this turned out. It looks really good. You can apply this onto any other surface. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And also let me know what other fall DIYs you would like to see or holiday DIYs. Comment below and I will talk to you next time. Mwah.